Sup guys, Hey King here, bringing you another manga review this week on Boku no Hero, chapter 356, I believe. So we were on a week, on a week break. Or was it, I think it was a two week break, wasn't it? Or are we going to a two week break after this? I think we're going to a two week break after this. So everything's going to break these days. So yeah, it's kind of annoying, but it uh, also gives us time to relax and chill out a bit. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's get to this week's chapter. I forgot where we left off last last chapter. I think, I think they broke a bit of the mask when they were fighting all for one. Uh, Jiro got a bit of her ear blown off, so she's only got one ear left. Is injured, and they're waiting for him. They're trying to fight him back and give enough time for Endeavor to come back into the fight. So yeah, and the chapter is called "Know Your Enemy." So we we oh yeah. Before I start, guys, remember to like and subscribe, please. Thank you very much. So we start off where we left off, obviously, with Jiro on top of uh, 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 it's, it's, was it box and uh, an all for one fight in. Uh, what's going on here? Dark Shadow, Jiro is calling out. She's using her remaining earlobe, uh, Jack, uh, to do something. You've got to do it now. Catch me later. And what's going on here? Uh, oh, she, she throws herself off. So she, what? She's in mid air falling. And Dark Shadow's like, what? Uh, and sends and kicks. I think she kicks Sukuyomi and Dark Shadow down or something. Hawks, Hawks or blow, Hawks or blow didn't. Hawks's blow didn't pack enough punch to finish him off. Okay, so they're going in to try and finish off all for one. Don't know what these kids are going to be able to do, but uh, yeah, uh, 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 Tokiyomi Tuki, basically covers his fist into Dark Shadow and he calls a black abyss and he's going for that exposed face of all for one. And it enlarges, in or whatever you call it. it, it gets massive and he goes for a punch into All For One's face and he smashes him, Ragnarok. He smashes him and sends him flying, basically. And then Hawks comes in with her, with her feather sword. Betcha thought we were just trying to buy some time here. And then uh, Tsukiyomi goes back and he catches Juro just before she falls. Uh, and Hawks' life flies can be really annoying sometimes, eh? And in all for one, his mask is basically breaking apart. His full mask has basically broken apart. So, so Kiyomi, Dark Shadow's combination attack did the trick. I should have dodged that strike with ease. My senses are lagging behind. So, yeah, as you remember, the vestiges or whatever, the, the quirks that he's got, they're stopping all for one from using it. Ever since I lost my eyes and ears, I've more than made up for them by getting my hands on countless sensory quirks. From, in, from infrared vision to detecting vibrations, my awareness is leagues ahead of that of ahead ahead of that uh, ahead of that of an ordinary human being. Right? Okay, that explains it. I was always wondering, like, how the hell is he able to hear and see and that? So that's it's creepy. That girl isn't good enough at using her quirk to hinder my perception like this. No, the real reason must be that my quirks are rebelling. So yeah, we're seeing a panel of the uh, quirks rising up, trying to drag him down. This has never happened before. After all, they are they are but fragile uh, reproductions. I'm the one in charge here. Hawks is going in for the kill. Although we've managed to find several windows in which to land attacks, we've only inflicted superficial wounds. But now I can finish this. Die. And I don't know what happens, but we cut to we cut to all for one in the vestige realm. And he grabs one of the one of the vestiges, and his mouth opens up like a freaking monster, and he goes to devour it. And Hawks, I don't know, I think he senses that because next section, uh, you've got all for one screen, pathetic, and you've got all these vines, these black sort of, uh, I don't know, uh, I don't know, sensory vibes, whatever, shooting out. They hit Jiro, they hit Dark Shadow, uh, and it's grabbing, oh, the, these vines, whatever they are, these projections, they're, they're all grabbing pieces of all for one's mask, and they're pulling them back, and he fixes, he reattaches his mask, honestly. So, oh my god, so all of that was for nothing then but just as that happens you've got end of our coming in with a fist and he's like that stubbornness of yours is what wrecked your life beyond repair end of our so end of is just coming in and he's protecting he's protecting hawks you've got hawks who's jumped in to shield jiro and sukiyomi and sukiyomi and then you've got end of who jumps in front of them trying punching the uh burning and punching the uh, vines away and it looks like his suit or whatever is getting mangled and we're cutting to we're cutting to a young end of our we're cutting to a young end of our uh I think when he was in school maybe or something. you you're even weaker than before. I don't know, who's he talking to? Who's this guy on the ground? Your conditions, your atonement. So and he's having flashbacks to Shoto, he's having flashbacks to to one of his sons that he rescued. 
to Toya's grave, your mistakes and your responsibilities. Who's he talking to? Oh no, this is, I think this is a young Endivar talking to an old Endivar. Like he's remembering his younger self and his younger self is talking to him. All those things ever did for you was expose how weak you really are. They turned you into the pathetic excuse for a hero you are now. You'll never, you'll never be, you'll never become a superhuman, NG. Remember your origins. Remember who was the real enemy all along. And he's thinking back and there's destruction, there's people dead. Remember when you saw a father try to save his little girl from a villain and how they wound up as nothing more than squashed lumps of burning flesh. Oh man. And then, and he didn't do anything at the time. And now as a statue or, or a pose of all might. Do you remember your feelings of jealousy and inferiority towards the one true superhuman? And he's writing down his, I think his applications or the self-deprecating act of choosing a word meaning hard work as your hero name. A soul so wrenched that it could only survive by floating its ugliness. And then, oh, an endivar, old endivar grabs young, young endivar, basically. He grabs his younger self, that's right, you'll never be. He grabs him by the throat, that's right, you'll never be like All Might or Deku. All this time, you've been fighting a battle against your own weakness. So, don't even think about turning over a new leaf. And now we're getting to present day endivar. What's going on here? There's like two endivars. You've got old endivar trying to burn younger endivar. Never stop cursing your weakness. After all, it's all it's the only thing you've been living for. And Endivar raises his fist. He's going for like a fire attack. What is going on here? And he hits. And we're cutting to him. Hit, uh, we cut, I think we're cutting to him hitting all for one. You've got that right, all for one. Oh, so was this all for one sort of talking to him? And he, and he saw all for one represented as his younger self, perhaps. You've got that right, all for one. I'm stubborn as they come. I will never congratulate myself with a pat on the back. Ending this fight, ending this fight once and and once and for all is my duty, and that's how the chapter ends. But people said that his arm got so. Yeah, I think I think if we remember correctly, he did lose his arm, didn't he? I don't know if he lost his arm here. He did lose his arm. So in that in that attack, when when Hawks is shielding the kids, and Endeavor comes in to shield them, he goes for a punch. Knocking them all away, but his other arm gets caught in the vines, into the spiky vines, and they basically rip that arm off. So he's arm, he's armless. He's got one arm left basically. And then as he's, as he's talking to his younger self, he uses his other arm to grab him, but that arm shouldn't be there. Instead, what happens is he gets so angry, he gets all fired up that he basically creates a new fist of fire, sort of similar to a. I don't know how I can compare this to. Uh, what's his name? Uh, the character in uh, Black Clover, Fangolion, uh, and, and he loses his arm, I think, and, he, and then he's just got like a fire fist. That's exactly what happens here. Endeavor creates a fire fist, basically, and, and he uses that to punch into All for One, and the mask basically burns and breaks apart. And yeah, like, holy crap, it actually works. The hit works, and he sends All for One flying, and his last words are, ending this fight once and for all is my duty. Todoroki NG, witness how he lives. And that's the end of the chapter. So yeah, um, crazy, crazy to see that. Um, it's a decent fight. It's another decent fight. We get, we get, we get Dark Shadow and Tokiyomi and and Jinro all basically giving them moments to shine to get that hit in that basically breaks All for One's mask up apart. And then you have All for One regaining control of his quirk and trying to bring the mask back in. And then you have Endeavor coming in and protecting Hawks and the kids. Losing his arm and then, you know, you know, f basically looking in, 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 looking inside himself, looking at his weaknesses and basically accepting those weaknesses, accepting who he is and accepting what he has to do now and going for this fire punch, creating this fire fist out of nothing, out of his quirk and knocking all for one away and breaking the mask apart. So yeah, it looks like we are one step closer to the end of this fight. I don't think all for one is going to die though. It is one it is it is for certain he's going to transfer his mind into Shigaraki and the final fight is going to take place in you know at the Hero Academy up in the air and Deku's going to have to somehow get in there and get up there. How that's going to work I don't know, but this fight with all for one looks like it's coming for an end and then we're probably going to be cutting back to the Toga fight, uh, the Spinner fight. And whoever house we have left basically uh, the Gamantima fight if you will, the giant dude and then obviously the final fight with Deku and Bakugo and whoever's there teaming up to take on Shigaraki and slash All for One. So yeah, it feels like we are approaching the end. I feel like once we get rid of All for One here, 
we're going to be sort of in the end game with the final fights, basically. And then we're going to get to, like, the final battle, essentially. But yeah, this was a decent chapter. Uh, it's very fast-paced. It gets the point across very bloody well. And yeah, I can't wait to see what, what, what more happens. Like, uh, this was good. This was good. Uh, this was a good chapter, actually. Um, it's for, a lot of people are getting complaining that it feels rushed, but I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that. I just, I see it more as Hi Hirogashi, he's reached that point where all you can really do now at this point is go forward. There's no point stopping and slowing down for the sake of, oh, we're going to just develop some of these side characters, despite the fact that we know where this is all going to lead, like, or we're going to focus more on this. It just feels like filler in the end. Do you know what I mean? The way this is going, it's, it feels very fast paced and to the point. Uh, like the action is just moving every time the story is moving forward every time it might it might be you know i like that i like that in, in this so i'm all for it uh and yeah we'll see what happens we'll see how it goes i mean uh i do feel like this will end with 300 chapters in total i do think that that's that's the end that's the end number for where he wants to hit it. so yeah this isn't going to be like oh it's going to end in 10 chapters and that no no this is i feel like this is going to go on up to 300 chapters at best i feel like that's a number he wants to reach and i feel like that's what's going to happen but yeah um yeah, decent chapter. I can't wait to see more. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that. As always, remember to like and subscribe. Uh, please uh, click the bell if there is a bell. I don't know how this works. So share down below, comment down below, like, etc., uh, etc. Et I'm repeating myself, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I, I shall see you when I shall see you. Take care and bye.